Hi, I'm Mason, and this is our unscripted review of the Saunders original e-bike. Thank you for watching our unscripted reviews. Feel free to like and subscribe. Let's go check out the building features. So the bike has seven gears. You can increase the gear by going by pushing it up towards the plus and decreasing it by going down towards the minus. The seven gears will allow it for it to navigate a variety of terrain. It's 60 pounds in all and there's a carrying capacity of 275 pounds. So we've got a 350 watt motor on this and uh, a 36 volt lithium ion battery which we'll show you how to put in right now. Install the battery into the bike. First we're going to have to unlatch this. This is where the battery is going to be placed. We're going to turn it until it comes undone. Boom. The way this is going to be plugged in, and you can see it right here, on the battery where it's going to be plugged into, there's also a little uh, notch. So it's going to go slide right in, all the way until the gap disappears. And then you put it on and tighten this. You put your battery in your bike, but after you have done this, you're going to want to take your key out. There we go. And turn the battery on. And then you're just going to put it in here. And then when you hear that click, it's in and it's secure. Now, if you've already put your battery in and you still need to charge it, or if you don't want to take your battery out and you want to charge it, we have these uh, rubber gaskets here that you can just pop off and the charging port is right here. So now we've got this other uh, rubber casting on the other side. Now this one is for uh, turning the battery on and off if you've got to do that while you already put the battery in or if you want to turn it off once you're done riding. And the display, we're gonna hold the I button here and the LCD will pop up when it's on. The LCD shows us our battery life, our, mi our current miles per hour, our total miles traveled, I mean, you can see we've already done some riding. And also our pedal assist up here. Right now it's at two. If you press the minus button over here, it will go down. Zero is no pedal assist. Whereas if you go press the plus button, it goes up to five. And that's the most pedal assist. Speed is 20 miles per hour, which keeps it legal on all roads and trails. Well, you should check your area just to make sure because it varies. All right, so we're uh, we're talking final thoughts on the Saunders original e-bike. Um, we got Mason and we got Stacy who has a cold and is miserable, so she probably won't talk much. But she's got her hot cocoa and she'll be happy. Well, tell us God. So Mason, uh, we have a few e-bikes in our garage now. Mm -hmm. We have the, the Saunders Fold X. Uh, which Stacy sort of took, took over as hers. Uh, we have the EB5 and the EB8. Um, which one do you like the best? I I like the one that we reviewed for this video, actually. Um, I've, I've gone on a trip with all of those e-bikes on the same road, and I felt the most comfortable on that one. So you like this one the best? Mm-hmm. This is a big bike, so I would recommend you need to be probably at least 5'6", probably 5'8", to mm -hmm. be comfortable, um, unless you are okay with having a tremendous amount of lean um, when you're stopped. I mean, obviously yeah. when you're pedaling and stuff. Oh, you I haven't actually know. tried it yet, right? I haven't tried that, but I did try the Rad Rover, and that's got the 26... Inch tires 26 well. inch tires on it also, and I'm about five seven and a half and mm. it's almost too tall for me yeah did you always use the pedal assist the... um i didn't always use it i um used I, I put it to zero sometimes and 
I I still enjoyed riding it, and it still felt like a normal bike when it's not on pedal assist. It didn't feel too heavy. And when I did use pedal assist, it felt fun. It felt fun. It felt fun, yeah. Like a little moped. How fast did you get it? Um, I went up to 20. Did you go down any big hills with it? No. That's what makes me nervous, is going down the big hills with it. And going, like, with the pedal assist and having it make it go faster. Mm. So, what happens with the pedal assist, that's a good point, what happens with the pedal assist is when the bike is exceeding the threshold of the 20 miles per hour, uh, the motor won't uh, assist at all. So it's basically uh, a free a free coast-ish. So even if you're pedaling with pedal assist and you're exceeding that amount, that limit, it's, it's not gonna help. What about, for both of you guys, what about the noise? Is there a lot of noise with the motor? Maybe people can hear you coming. I don't really notice any noise at all. No, I, Sorry, I, I don't either. So for the $8.99 price point with free shipping, some assembly is required. Um, you, you know, you pull out of the box and we have a time lapse that we kind of shot with Mason and I kind of working on it, putting it together. Um, the, the hardest part of the, the whole thing was putting those stupid reflectors on. Uh -uh. That was a nightmare. <laughs> One thing that we found in trying to put that bike together is that they do not have any kind of paper instructions. And if you like to be old school with the paper instructions, you're not going to find them anywhere. Um, if you go to Saunders' website and look up, you know, how-tos on their assembly of their bikes, they have a lot of videos for that. That's true. And they're all, um, all different types. They have certain sections, how to put the, the wheels on or how to put the brakes on and, and things like that. I had a really hard time finding one for the reflectors. Yeah. Yeah, the um, reflectors were... <clears throat> So the reflectors had these two plastic pieces that sort of connect together around your spokes and then you screw them to each other and use tension to kind of hold them on. Um, I guess if, if they had one negative about the bike just from helping with the assembly, it would probably be that, but do you recommend the bike? Do you think it's good for the value of the 899? Yeah, I think it's, it's good, um, especially compared to other bikes. I mean, for $900, the EB, EB8, which we did a review on, Adam did a review on that one. <laughs> Um, that's the folding uh, Swagtron e-bike, um, and that one retailed for I think seven ninety nine. And I think just yeah. comparing those two, I think this thing blows it out of the water. Um, unless you need that compact, uh, that yeah, folding that design. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you need that folding design, I think this one blows it out of the water. I think the battery size is the same, um, but the then that has a Shimano shifter, but I don't think it's quite as quite as good as what this one is. This one is very smooth. Yeah, I read that one. Um, and I know a lot of the same features. The handlebars are, not to steal one of Stacy's work, but janky on that one and kind of, I don't know, a little strange. Um, and we've had problems with the chain kind of coming off a couple times. But, you know, for, for the money for that, I thought it was fairly decent. But now uh, with the Saunders original. Yeah, and, it's I, even better. Yeah, I, for plus the price. Right. Plus, you also get a speedometer, you know, and mm -hmm. the pe different levels of pedal assist. So that one, you didn't have different levels of pedal assist. You only had uh, pedal assist based on what gear you're in. So it was pretty much always the same amount of power that was being generated. Thanks for watching our unscripted review of the Saunders original. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, um, and. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that bell notification too. Yeah, play Ding Dong Ditch with that bell. Turn that thing on. So, ironically, the cat and the dog actually hate each other. You wouldn't know it in this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh it's boy, smell. the dog just um, the dog just dripped one. Hopefully, that will not be as stinky as it usually is. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>